we have another insane box what's up guys we're back with another epic video today we have several awesome things i want to show you guys that i got in the mail today and i also have a few announcements but first we do have a quick giveaway i will be giving away this destiny hero plasma from the collector 10 all you have to do like this video be subscribed and let me know your favorite thing from this mail day which is a lot there's a lot to choose from Let's start it off with a quick announcement. I have added a couple of tiers to the YouTube membership as well as the Patreon. Both are the same price, the two new tiers on Patreon and YouTube membership. So whichever one you prefer, you can use and it works basically the same for me. First, we have a $15 tier that will have your name in the credits of every single video. So at the end of the video, we have the uh, the outro, but we, before that, we're gonna have names in the credits. So if you guys want to have that, you can be on the $15 tier, you'll get everything else from the previous tiers as well, like Discord access, emotes, badges, discounts on box breaks, early access to box breaks. All that stuff comes with a $15 membership. And then there finally is a $25 membership. This is the highest level membership that we have on both Patreon and YouTube. If you guys are on the $25 membership, you guys will get verbally announced at the end of every video. So I will say your name at the end of every video, give you guys a shout out. So if you guys are on the $25 tier, you would get everything in front of it as well as a shout out in every single video. A viewer actually suggested this to me. He said, I would actually really want to do this. And I know a lot of other people would. So I was like, why not? You know, let's do it. That'd be cool. A lot of you guys can be in every video, you know, have your name shouted out or whatever. And also, of course, it supports me even more, which is really awesome. I appreciate you guys who do that. This is definitely not a requirement thing. I'm just letting you guys know this is now an option. And also, because we're talking about memberships, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the members that will be announced in this video. So keep your eyes peeled. First of all, I just wanted to show you guys something really cool that happened. So I bought this card on TCG Player for $2.25 near Mint and it came sealed. <laughs> so I actually got a sealed JMP Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I bought a few of these recently because I realized they were super cheap and it's just such a cool card. So I was like, uh, this is just really awesome because I one, I bought it for $2.25. So I wasn't even expecting it to actually be near mint. And not only was it, you know, I guess it's near mint, but it's, it's sealed. So it's even cooler. So that was really exciting. I just wanted to share that because it's always cool when you buy something online and it's better than you expected or like, sealed in this case or you know whatever it's very exciting so this was pretty cool i thought you guys would find that interesting secondly a viewer of the channel sold me his power tool dragon trevor sold me this power tool dragon and not and i just wanted to share it on the channel because trevor went he was not lying he said this thing was minty i mean just look at this look at this foil i figured we'd throw in the video because obviously this card looks really really good like the man told me it was in good shape he even tried to sell it in the discord for members and uh, nobody was interested at the time. So I was like, you know what? I'll take it. He's like, I'm about to post it online. I was like, no, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I bought it. Ghost Binder for sure. It looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, Trevor, I really like this card. Thank you very much, man. Next, we have some, something you guys have seen before on this channel. We have 36 First Edition Legacy of Darkness packs. I know with 99.9% .9 certainty that these are unweighed because I bought from the sky before and we've pulled three Injection Fairy Lilies. And I have a ton of these packs. So if you guys are interested in buying these, they will be on Ruxin34.com. Also, one of these will be given away to one random member or Patreon of the channel. I know these patron, patron probably is how you say that. One of these will be given away to you guys for free. You know, just for being a patron, a member. So if you guys want to join the membership, you can get in on the giveaway. If you're already a member, you don't have to worry about it. You're just in already. So that will be given away and uh yeah the rest will be for sale on ruxon34.com go check it out next we have this massive box you guys saw in the intro it's very large um so my setup is not quite big enough for these kind of boxes so inside we have a few single cards but we're gonna go through those in a second actually let's go through those first and then we'll get into the rest so first we have a tune world this is an mrl unlimited tune world Seems to be in decent shape. There's some smudging on it, a little bit, a couple dots and stuff, but you know, pretty nice stuff. There's just like nine cards in here. It's very interesting. Nine cards and then a bunch of sealed stuff. So I don't know why there's only nine cards. You know, this guy only had nine cards, but he had a bunch of sealed stuff. Who knows? But uh, Parasite, Parasite, Unlimited. So the Unlimited stuff's not worth, you know, very much, but it's very cool. It's OG as, as well, which is cool. We got the Beast of Tawar, first edition. That's, that's cool, actually. Um, pretty nice condition overall, I would say. Yeah, looks like it came out of a pack, sort of, <laughs> sort of. 
Yamada Dragon. Let me know if you guys kind of like going through these uh, sort of mail days, you know, looking at some stuff that I've bought. I enjoy doing these. Um, it's sort of a good switch up from just regular opening. So Yamada Dragon First Edition, that is... I, wait, is that thing centered? That thing's got pretty good centering. Um, should we grade this? Let me check the back again. Yeah, probably not. I mean, it wouldn't get a 10. And that's the only reason you would grade it. Well, besides, you could want a 9, but not it for 150, I don't think. Ooh, LOB red eyes. Actually, that's that's pretty sick. So, there's a smudge on it, but... Unlimited LOB. It's not a reprint. That's pretty cool. Original red eyes black dragon. Love to see that. Speaking of original LOB, we have an unlimited right arm. There's something going on right there. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something. Okay, right arm. Then we have an Exiled Force. This is a pretty nice card for like Go Format. Wow, this card's in very, very good condition. That's a very nice one. First edition Exiled Force. Pretty good card. These are a little bit like dusty from the, uh, I think from the nine card pocket they've been in. Kind of got into the cards a little bit. Still pretty nice condition though. Penguin Soldier. SDJ Unlimited. There's a little, uh, okay, that came off. Nothing on there. Pretty nice. And then finally, the best card of the lot, I would say, of the nine, of the nine cards, is a card that we've already uh, sort of talked about. Not really, but, you know, with those Legacy of Darkness. First edition Injection Fairy Lily. So there is a little ding down there, or a little spot down there. Is this thing? I don't know if that's coming off, whatever that is. It looks like it's a little, like, dot or something. Is that a print dot? It might actually be printed on there. I think that's a print dot. That's interesting. Okay, that's that's very strange. But uh, overall, a nice condition with a weird print dot. Centering's not that great. So yeah, it's not like it would have graded a 10 anyway. But that's pretty cool. Those print dot stuff like that probably would hurt the grade. It's hard to know if like it's factory, what they would consider. They might say it's damaged. They might say it's not. Who knows? Okay, now we get into the really interesting part of this box. We have seven first edition Pharaonic Guardian packs. So are these unweighed? I do not know. That's the question. I'm probably gonna have to weigh them myself just to see if I think that they're legit. I've never weighed Pharaonic Guardian. So I really don't know what the weights would turn out to be, but maybe we just open these for, for a video, you know, because they might have something, they might not. It's hard to know. So we'll consider opening these for a video because I don't even know if the weights are going to matter because I've always said if you don't have the booster box, you really can't trust the weights. You can try and weigh them and then go for the heaviest one. And sometimes it'll work, but sometimes it doesn't. Like you saw um, when we opened that first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack recently, go check it out. We tried to weigh it and uh, it didn't work out. Then we have some really cool ones, a first edition Dark Crisis packs. So these are ones you do not see too often. So these are also under the category of not sure if they're weighed or not we could try and weigh them maybe we'll open some of them maybe we'll save some of them i don't know what we're gonna do it's seven packs of first edition dark crisis which is just pretty tough to find not the most popular set but honestly just looks really cool and very hard to find so might have to open these maybe we'll open these for a video let me know what you guys think should we try and open them maybe open the heaviest ones or maybe we'll just open all of them i don't know let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do with those we do have a few other ones. We also have four more Legacy of Darkness packs. These are from that same guy. So the first 36 I got, I am nearly certain that they're unweighed. These I have no idea. So um, we have four of these, and then we have some that I am pretty sure are unweighed because we have blister packs, first edition. So first edition blister packs, we have one. We have two. We have three and four blister packs so these are really awesome items and since they are in the blisters you can be fairly certain that they are unweighed because unless they tamper with the blisters which they look pretty good to me then these packs have never left the blister so they haven't been able to be weighed and you can't really weigh a blister that's kind of the point of them so you can't like mess with the packs so overall more legacy of darkness we this channel loves legacy of darkness we have a lot of it and that's not all folks for that box. We have a couple more things. So this, I'm gonna act like it's probably surprising, but it, it's probably in the thumbnail because it's probably the coolest item. First edition Magician's Force third party blisters. So you may have seen these for Legend of Blue Eyes where they're in these like plastic blisters, but I've never seen Magician's Force. So we have one, we have two, we have three, four, 
Okay, let's just cut to the chase. We have eight. Eight Magician's Force third-party blisters. So, absolutely crazy. I don't know if these, like, are hobby or retail, because normally uh, blisters would be retail. But because they're third-party, like, they're just repackaged, they could be from anywhere. And you can't see the back because this is covering them so it's hard to say and then we got xl marketing is what made those interesting des moines iowa okay these are from iowa i wonder when these were repackaged i mean it had to have been like 2005 or something so incredible item this really cool item i had never seen definitely kind of why i picked up this whole box like the other stuff was cool but like this was what was really cool the magician's force repacked stuff repackaged i guess i should say because it's not repacked hopefully you know three packets these are usually pretty legit because they're made by like a real company that like just put like packs into the, pl the plastic or whatever because those lbs did have some big stuff pulled not by me unfortunately but uh we did pull like one super or something just a really awesome awesome package so i figured you guys would be interested in that we do have one more package today to show you guys we have the sponsor of this video dragon shield sent us a massive box so this is extremely exciting and because this box is as you guys know too large for my space we're gonna open it over here okay let's let's do this slowly but surely boom boom check these out guys sky blue we got white we got black dragon shield are my favorite sleeves to use besides the penny sleeves which i just use for like when i right when i pull stuff because i don't want to like put it in a tight sleeve but if i'm going to play with a deck or like store my cards in my binder these are the go-to i love these oh look more colors i love the colors that they have so they just are super quality and then they have some really awesome colors that i don't know why having your deck all in one color just looks so good but it does but we got perfect fits here so we're gonna have to test some of these out we have sealable is this like uh team bags i'm about to try these out as well what is this a play mat all right we got more sleeves Ooh, more sleeves there what what is the difference here these are sealed and these are not i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to check out what those are and more clear there are gummies in here we're gonna have to try these there are also two insane binders look at these oh look at this that is incredible and then we have uh this guy very small dragon baby dragon there you go and then uh the back is uh more of a casual very cool okay first off i'm getting hungry so let's eat some of these let's eat some of these dragon shield gummies and see what these taste like oh man that's so good very chewable all right i want to test out some of these perfect fit sleeves so I'm normally not a perfect fit kind of guy, but I'm definitely interested in what kind of perfect fits. They're very soft, which is good for a perfect fit. You don't want it to be too tight. We're going to test it out on one of these new cards we just we just got. The legend himself. Let's see if we can perfect fit this guy. Oh, wow. That fits. Oh, wow. That slides in really not. That sounds weird. That, that goes on very nicely. There we go. Let's pretend like I didn't say it that way. Okay, if you want to, and then if you want to use these, you know, the regular old ones, which are, you know, the more ones that I use. Wait, how do I open this? There we go. You go like this. Boom. And look at that. I love how these fit. They're like just enough room so it's not too tight. And then you got this really cool looking dude on the back. And the best part about these, they have like a lore on them, which is awesome. They have lore on the back, on their sleeves, which is very cool. Let's try the clear ones and see what these look like. I think I, I could see myself having a clear deck. Okay, let's ch let's check out these clear sleeves. I kind of want to see if these are regular sized. Okay, these look like Yu-Gi-Oh sized. So people get mad at me for not having the right size sleeves, but uh, these look like they are the correct. Oh yeah, look at this. That's beautiful. That is sweet. Look at that. That looks really nice. I like these. Boom, and then you can uh, put it in your other size sleeve and double it up. Okay, I've never seen these kind of sleeves before, but it looks like you perfect fit them and then you can seal it. Okay, let's give it a try. So you sleeve it up so the injection fairy lily goes in. And then you, you go like that. Wait. Is that so like dust doesn't get in there? That's actually really cool. I never even heard of that kind. So that's actually really nice. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool because now this thing is like dust proof which is pretty awesome. Okay, so those are super cool. If you guys are interested in buying some of those, just check out the link below. I'll have Dragon Shield linked and you guys can go buy some of these if you want. If you guys want to try this, I don't know. I don't think this is new, but I'd never heard of them. 
uh, these perfect fit sealables for like some that was more of like a collector thing I would think maybe your deck if you want to you want to keep them I guess if you're playing with expensive cards you'd probably want to do that um, the perfect sleeves of course which I have never really used until maybe I'll use them now because they actually work a lot easier than I thought they get they go on there really easily and then of course the main sleeves that have the cool art the lore all that stuff I'm figuring actually does this oh this does as well very cool so if you guys want those check them out down below if you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video be subscribed all that stuff if you do want to become a member or a patron for the new uh shout outs and stuff like that check it out i appreciate you guys supporting me that's it for this video i will see you guys later peace <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!